Greetings, and welcome to episode 5. Today we'll be talking about spirituality, and all the things that it, that could encompass, on the surface at least. Not delving into anything, I just wanted to, to, to get some things off my chest that I've been noticing in other people's videos, some of the, the comments people leave, and uh, yeah, sit back and enjoy. So, what does it mean to be spiritual? Is it a certain type of clothing you wear? Is it a particular food you eat? Is it a particular way you meditate? The way you dance? Who you know? Who you've met? Books you've read? What is it? What is it to you? Because to me, and the things that I've learned, is that spirituality is more like a verb. And a lot of people, I've noticed, try to treat it like a noun. It isn't a person. You can't meet spirituality. You can't talk to spirituality. It, it, it isn't a place. You can't go to spirituality. You can't visit and it's not a thing. You can't possess it. You can't own it. It's a verb. It's it's it m more like a verb, I should say. It's something you do. It's not something you wear, eat, drink. It's not a place you go, person you meet. And like I said, a lot of people, they try to treat it that way. And uh, they treat it like... Well, if, if I meet so-and-so, that'll mean that I've made it this far. Or if I can act like so-and-so. Or if I can dress like so-and-so. Or if I find out so-and-so's diet. Or find out what the books that somebody read. Spirituality, being spiritual, is something that's in here. That's where it begins, and that's where it's ultimately going to end. And you don't need anything. You don't need a special diet. You don't need to know anybody in particular. You don't need to dress a certain way. You don't need to carry yourself a certain way. You don't. It, it, you don't even need to change anything about your personality per se. So much as you're changing the way you live. I've seen people. Well, that guy's an asshole. But I know him, and I know he's super spiritual. You just think he's an asshole. And you know what? doesn't make any difference what you think toward his journey that makes him not spiritual. But you'll think because he's spiritual, or because he's an asshole, he couldn't possibly be spiritual. Because someone that's spiritual couldn't possibly be an asshole. That's like saying someone that's blind or handicapped couldn't possibly be a bad person. Or deaf, which is completely not true. I don't know. People get these assumptions, and then they're completely shocked. Wow, that guy was an asshole. I could, I would have never thought a deaf person would be an asshole. I've known deaf people that sold drugs. <laughs> you cannot make these uh, assumptions about people. You cannot say, "Well, he's spiritual," but. He did this and this and this. How spiritual is that? Well, that's not for you to decide, is it? You should be focusing on your journey. You don't want to do that stuff. Don't do that stuff. You don't want to be an asshole. You don't want to curse in front of other people or at all. You don't want to eat meat. You don't want to dress a certain way. That, that Those are all choices. Well, you don't use crystals. You can't be spiritual. Not everybody needs crystals. It, it's not a mark of someone that's truly enlightened that they have crystals everywhere. Now you want to try crystals? Try crystals. Use crystals. See how they benefit you. I wouldn't mark you as any more spiritual than I because you use crystals, don't eat meat, dress a certain way, are completely polite and nice to everyone wherever you go. Never going to elevate my opinion of you. You said you're spiritual. You already won. You already won. Now we're going to talk about that stuff. I'm not going to get into, oh, who designed your clothes? 
it doesn't matter. You will probably never get me to wear anything that you have on unless you're wearing something that I like. Then I'll ask you, wow, where'd you get that? Want to get me one of those? But it wouldn't have anything to do with being spiritual. I just find it aesthetically appealing and I would like to acquire one. And just the attitude some people have. You read the comments on a lot some of these videos of some of the other people I I I, I watch the videos and they'll they'll be judging. They can't be spiritual. Look what they're wearing. They can't be spiritual. They're not a vegan. They can't be spiritual. And I'm like thinking you can't be spiritual. Look, you're judging. <laughs> and. The, that, that works both ways because now I'm judging that makes me less spiritual but it doesn't none of us perfect but at the same time really you're gonna point out things on the surface that in com that you think completely invalidate this person's journey from your perspective that tells me that you've already put this person up on a pedestal already and if they slip off of it or the pedestal rocks back and forth a little bit, you're done with that person. Or you have something to say about that person. And that's just, that's not spirituality. Spirituality is in here. I should be able to stand up and wear anything I want. Speak in any manner I see fit. And if you are here to learn something from me, you're going to learn something from me. Now, granted, you can't just be irritating or obnoxious and expect people to stick around. But on the same token, maybe that's part of the test. It's a character test. Are you willing to listen despite your initial impression? Are you willing to listen despite the fact that, well, I didn't like what she was wearing. But I listened to her anyway. And I learned a lot. Now see that's 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 one thing. Because if you do leave a comment, you're not gonna post that, oh I learned so much, but I hated what you were wearing. You're just gonna say, I learned so much. But most people they skip the learn so much and skip right to the did you see what they were wearing? Did you see the backdrop in their video? Oh, I didn't like the music very much, but did you like what was saying? Did you appreciate the fact that this information was being presented to you in the first place? Because those of us that have decided that we're going to take our time and teach and give up our lives for you. Now that's not saying I've given up everything I do to make these videos. What I'm saying is I'm putting my life out here for you to see it. So you can maybe learn something you haven't already learned or get a different perspective, get different perspective, sorry, on something that you have already learned. Because one thing I learned is preaching to the choir is absolutely fundamental to this movement because yes you already know I, 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 I went into this with the with the assumption that the majority of the people that are going to watch these videos already know what I have to say what I have to offer but maybe it wasn't offered in the way I'm offering it and the way I have no doubt that the way I offer it is going to be met with the same negativity that I see on some of these other channels with the with just the negative comments that have nothing to do with what the person was trying to teach. Ooh, excuse me, but just the like the cosmetic surface value of it. Well, I don't like their voice, or I don't like their hair, or did you see the way he did this and did that? Did you listen to anything that person said? Because if you were listening, you shouldn't even have noticed anything but what the person was saying. Now, if you notice character traits in a person that you don't really care for, that's really not valid either. You're not here to learn how to be a human being. You're here to learn how to be a little more spiritual perhaps uh, learn how to meditate learn how to live your daily life and keep 
the focus on being spiritual. Perhaps. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is you're after. But look at your own life. What does spirituality mean to you? I'm going to tell you what it means to me. It has absolutely nothing to do with anything outside of my body. I don't carry myself any differently than I did when I was younger. But granted, I've been on the path since I was a young teenager, about 13 years old. But I am the same person now at the core as I was back then. I still listen to the same music I did back then. I still dress basically the same as I did back then. And someone would see me on the street and they would never assume that I was deeply spiritual. They would just assume I was just another person because they don't take the time to look any deeper because most people just presume that spirituality is a certain way you dress, certain way you walk, certain way you talk. You would never know just by the way I talk out in my everyday life what kind of person I am. But if you took the time to get to know me, you would learn that I am a deeply spiritual person. I have my daily routine, my spiritual routine, like anybody else. I make sure I get my meditation in. Now, that probably means something different to me than it does to you. Most people getting their meditation in means sitting down for 10 to 20 minutes and in a calm and relaxed state and meditating. Well, I learned a few techniques where I don't need to sit down to meditate. I'm meditating right now because I I had to adapt to the way my life was being lived at the time. And even now, uh, and we'll get into that later, probably uh, episode 6, I'll discuss meditation. But anyway, it just seems like everyone wants to put a stipulation on spirituality. Well, I would believe you were spiritual if fill in the blank. I would think you were spiritual, but fill in the blank. And it's like, no, it doesn't work that way because you don't get to decide that person's journey. It doesn't look like what you're accustomed to. It doesn't sound like what you're accustomed to. What difference does that make? You don't get to decide that. Because it could also be argued that you're not very spiritual or you wouldn't be looking for a teacher in the first place. Right? Just some of these videos. And regardless of if these people are respected in their respective community or if the people hate or like or whatever. I was watching a video on a particular type of meditation. I guess you could call it. It was a, a different technique than I was accustomed to. And it was specifically designed to bring about a certain energetic change, we'll just say. This is, that's, I'm being vague on purpose because this video isn't about meditation. The point is, someone made the comment that disregard this guy, he's a, uh, what, the, what was the word they used? I can't remember the word they used. It was very, Damning, I guess you could say the word, damaging. Uh, a charlatan. He's a charlatan and a crook and a liar and this and that. And I was, and I had to put it down, you know what? You know, regardless of your person, I left a comment, a reply to their comment. Regardless of your personal views of the person, the information he's giving is valid information. So why are you bashing him? You're just going to scare off people that are seeking to come and join our community, the spiritual community or movement or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> They're seeking to join this, and you're bashing this guy. You're not giving any explanation. You're just bashing this guy. And to someone that doesn't already know 
the stuff that they're there to learn, it, you know, those of us that are just there learning a different technique, yeah, we can see the video for the video's sake and not judge the person and know that everybody's got a past and nobody's perfect. Yeah, we know that. But a newcomer's not going to know that. They're going to be all doe-eyed and ready to slip a pedestal up under somebody as quick as they can. And they're going to read that comment and, and see, yeah, you could scare them off of that one person, but you could also scare the newcomers off of the path entirely. Entirely. So then, in that sense, you ruin it. Let them come. Let them get the information. And me leaving that comment, the person commented back, and they went back and forth and back and forth. Finally, I found out what actually happened for her to be bashing this guy. And then the whole time she's insulting me in the back and forth that we did. And finally, I, I was trying to be polite. I was trying to say, without being an asshole, that I really don't care what happened to you. I'm here to listen to this guy. I don't care if he is an asshole. I just want to know what he knows. I was trying to be nice about it, and I was being nice and polite, and this is why you should always be yourself. I'm not usually nice and polite, but I was being nice and polite for until she insulted me probably about the third time. No, probably about the fourth time, and then I just let loose. <laughs> and I let her know, look, we're not all doe-eyed beginners and then fall for the first sign of whatever because we put someone up on a pedestal so we follow them around like a puppy dog. I said, no one's that stupid. I don't suspect, I, and you're an idiot for falling for that stuff. I don't care who he is or what he has done in his past. I just want to know what he has to say about this particular subject. And she never wrote back after that. <laughs> Those aren't the exact words I used, but I mean, this went on for like a month of the back and forth between her and I. Essentially, it comes down to she put this guy on a pedestal, so she ended up believing everything he said. But she wasn't just a avid watcher of his videos. She actually went to him and was living amongst him and his people and she got screwed over and I, like I said her it comes down to doe-eyed beginner puts a teacher on a pedestal teacher takes advantage of that student gets screwed over taken for a ride okay fine he's I'll agree with you he's an asshole doesn't make him less spiritual he abused his position as a teacher and your trust, but what does that have to do with me coming to learn this technique? I'm not going to judge the man because I'm not perfect. Would I have done what he did? Hell no. But you don't get to come insult me because your take on him now is that, well, he's, he's not spiritual because he does this, this, and that. He's still spiritual. He's still actually a pretty good teacher. He's just now, it's brought to my attention, he's an asshole. Okay, so this teacher, who is a really good teacher, is an asshole. But I'm still going to go and get some learning from him if that's what is necessary at the time. Your experiences with this person, I appreciate that. And I will be polite as I can the first few times until you start insulting me. That I'm not after the same things you were after. I'm not after a guru. I'm not after to go live in some spirit family or soul family. I'm just interested in learning. I, I believe that the, the, the journey is a solitary journey. That you glean what you can from the people that you can. But, I mean, when it comes down to it, the path is yours. You take those steps. Nobody can take those steps for you. If you have questions, oh, excuse me. Yes, ask the questions, but keep moving. Don't think that you're going to find a comfortable place to sit until you're ready to spread your wings. You should already be trying your wings out while you're walking along. And it just, you can't impugn somebody else's. If this guy's an asshole, you've had your negative experience with this person. He's an asshole. You can't come to me and say, well, he's not spiritual because he's an asshole. Because that makes me assume that you're not spiritual because you're, you're trying to bash this guy to my face.
And then when I don't agree with you, then you start bashing me. Yeah, I'm no longer putting you in that category as spiritual person. You're just you're just a pr angry human being at this point, and I don't have anything to say to you because you're not going to listen to me until I agree with you that this person is an asshole. And it will never happen that way because I'm not looking to him for moral guidance. <laughs> I'm looking to him for spiritual guidance. People assume that, well, if you're spiritual, you're of the light, and you're going to do good things, and you can be evil and still be a spiritual person, and people don't get that. So, don't judge a book by its cover, I suppose. But then it's even deeper than that. Because don't judge a book by its cover, but then don't just believe the words people say either. And even, I mean, I mean, I agree that there is sufficient evidence that this person had it wrong to this other person. But like I said, I'm not perfect. I am not perfect. And I've wronged people over the years. Yes, and looking back, and I was just a kid when it happened, but that doesn't change the fact that I've wronged people. This man is uh, appears to be older than me, at least my age, if not older. And he's still taking advantage of people. That tells me, yeah, okay, if her stories are true, this man is an asshole. But I don't see how that makes him less spiritual. I just, I, you'll never convince me that makes him less spiritual. Never. You'll never convince me that it's okay to judge someone. Just because. And what I mean, when if anybody, anybody watching this video came to me and started pointing the finger, the finger at somebody and saying, "Oh, they're this, they're that, they're this, they're that," you've already lost my vote. Sure, you may sway my opinion of this person, but you're gonna sit in that same boat with that person because now I'm already assuming you're an asshole for coming out trying to bash this person. Because you're telling me that he's not spiritual based on whatever information. He said this, and he did that, and he did this. But that's not spiritual. That has nothing to do with spirituality. You're not telling me if he's spiritual or not. You're telling me <laughs> that he has a broken moral compass. That's all you're telling me. You can be, You can have a broken moral compass and still be spiritual. That's why it's a learning curve. That's why it's a journey. <coughs> Excuse me. But you just serve to make yourself look less spiritual in, in what you're doing. Because not only did you bash him, but you bashed me. So, try not to judge other people. And I, I would say, try not to judge too harshly. Don't judge at all. As soon as you have a judgment pop into your head, think back. Have I been perfect my whole life? Can I go down to the lake and walk on it from one end to the other? No? Then you should probably reserve your judgment until that person specifically affects you. Because then you can't help judging. Then you're going to judge. Even in, even I would judge in that instance. You did what? No, uh-uh. Yeah, -uh. no, I'm now I'm judging you. But don't go by he said, she said. And if you do go by he said, she said, at least take the time to get the other person's story. Because when it all comes down to it, it doesn't it doesn't matter what they did. It doesn't make them less spiritual. It could possibly make them an asshole. It could possibly show character flaws. <laughs> Undoubtedly so, but it doesn't mean they're less spiritual. And the fact that I have a better moral compass, seemingly, doesn't make me more spiritual. Doesn't make you more spiritual calling out this other person. It certainly doesn't make you more spiritual by insulting me for coming to this person for guidance. 
especially that you're you, you're assuming that oh you were lost like I was and you're jumping into bed with these people and these people are bad but that's not what I'm after not what I'm after all these scared and confused people just remember spirituality isn't something you wear it's not something you eat it's not a dance it's not some place you go it's 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 nothing it's everything but whatever it is it's in here not out here it's not exclusively in him or exclusively in you it's in all of us even the people not on the path the people not seeking I just I get so irritated with people making presumptions you're spiritual why yes yes I am and you think you're more spiritual than I am because you've now judged me because of the way I dress look talk whatever I didn't judge you one way or the other I try to assume that every person I meet is spiritual in one way or the other I'm not gonna lie it doesn't always work that way sometimes I just assume that I'm the only one in the room that's deeply spiritual until it's proven otherwise depends on the day I suppose but I don't assume that anyone's less than me because they are or are not spiritual I don't presume that because this man performed this act and he's an asshole even if he did it to me doesn't mean he's not spiritual <sighs> oh excuse me and it, it, it it doesn't serve anyone not even you to go around and bash a person saying that they're not spiritual because fill in the blank it just makes you look like you're on the wrong path that maybe you aren't ready for this because not only are you like hardcore judging but yeah you're just you're making a fool out of yourself to try and make a fool out of somebody else. Judging and nitpicking. Well, look what he's wearing. He couldn't possibly be, be, be spiritual. Look, he's got a cutoff shirt on. <laughs> You're right. I couldn't possibly be spiritual because I have a cutoff shirt on. Or maybe you read too much into clothing. He couldn't possibly be spiritual. He's cussed almost the entire length of the video. Or maybe I just don't think that being spiritual means carrying a particular vocabulary. I don't know. I like teaching. I like to share my experiences. If you put me on a pedestal, that is not my intention. I have no intention of staying on that pedestal. I'm going to wear something you don't like. I'm going to speak in a fashion you don't like. And I'm going to carry myself in a fashion you may not like. It might shock you to know that I smoke. I don't smoke on the videos. But I smoke. Doesn't make me less spiritual. Just makes me a smoker. <laughs> Along with being spiritual. <laughs> I also eat meat doesn't make me less spiritual than anybody else well you're not as far along because if you were further along the vibrations of the universe no it doesn't work that way if you like me eat me if you like plants eat plants because what people people don't feel to fail to realize well it's a living thing and we should revere all life but aren't plants life and how do you know I don't hold plant life in the same high regard that you hold animal life and this isn't a joke this is me being 100 percent serious I hold plant life in very high regard my very first job was in a greenhouse so yeah I love plants so when you say oh you you, you can't eat meat because well because why it's a living thing plants are living things Plants react to negativity, and if you were to hook up a certain electronic device to a plant, and then you broke a leaf off of it, it would give off 
information that is indistinguishable from the information given off by a human when they feel pain. So all I'm hearing is, plants can't scream, so I don't feel guilty. Well, I feel guilty no matter what I'm eating, because something had to die to sustain me. You're a vegan, good on you. You're, you eat meat, good on you. Being one or the other doesn't make you less spiritual. Because, like I said, being spiritual, spirituality is not a food type. It's not a menu item. <laughs> this isn't a uh, popularity contest. If I don't know the people you know, doesn't make me less spiritual. You don't know me. Ha ha ha. Gotcha there. <laughs> You see me on the video, but you've never met me. And for those of you that have met me, you still don't know the people I know. So, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about name dropping. It's not about wearing certain items. It's not about carrying crystals in your pockets. It's not about anything than walking the path. That is spirituality. Now, there are certain techniques that can enhance that path enhance your journey along that path but it is not the path nothing material you will ever hold in your hand or purchase at a store or make yourself makes you more spiritual than the next person so quick recap spirituality is not what you eat it's not what you wear it's not what you purchase, it's not people you know, and it's not books you've read. None of those things will ever make you more spiritual than anybody else. Not even knowing more about the journey will make you more spiritual than somebody else. Anyway. I hope you've learned something from my little rant there. <laughs> that was actually something that was bothering me. I had to get that off my chest. But if you've learned anything or if you like the video, please click the like button. Favorite it if you like. Uh, subscribe if you would like to come back. Keep getting more of this. Until next time, you have a good one.